Hey, what's up everyone? So today I want to share something embarrassing. I accidentally leaked my AWS access keys on a GitHub profile. I was to create these, um, I was making videos on the Terraform whole security module and I did the rookie mistake of leaving my AWS access keys in there for my Terraform user. And as you would see in later on the video, I was fortunate enough, at least the person who identified this uh, were quick enough to let me know. And they were uh, kind enough to also show me what they could have done wrong. So this is a video from them on what they could have done. What can happen if you do not have the sensitive flag on on your state file in Terraform? A lesson for me towards the end, as you would see, what I could change about this. But for now, I'll hand it over to the student who kind of made it happen. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. Okay, so I just had the video. So I'm just going to try and walk through what the person was trying to look at. Basically hovering over here. Okay, so he or she is trying to show me that it is the AWS T oh, okay, fair enough. I named it obviously AWS TFS. Okay, so endpoint, uh, I'm assuming that's the account ID. That's the username that I created. And, oh, it's an embarrassing password coming from a security person. Great, I wonder what else is missing. Oh, my AWS, oh, okay, API key was there as well. I think I'm gonna rotate that after this as well, but I think uh, at least I know I would. So, okay, so he or she had both my username and password for Terraform security user and my endpoint, which is my AWS account. And for people who do not have the context, basically every time you run Terraform on your machine locally or using Terraform Cloud, you are required to have an IAM user credential that you need to save either locally or provide that on Terraform Cloud for it to do all these things on the provider, which is AWS. Again, there's a tutorial for it. I'll leave a link somewhere over there so you can actually check out the entire video if you don't know about Terraform and you can learn about Terraform so you don't make this mistake. All right, let's see what, what else did the hacker do. Oh, this is embarrassing. They're actually on my account ID. Let's see what the person is going to do now. It's in Stockholm region. All right, no EC2. Uh, can they change account? All right, okay, fair enough. Tried. Obviously, good. I had a restricted permission. Oh, smart. So the person is going to look for what permissions do they have at the moment. Uh, okay, so fair enough. Yeah, thank you for letting me know I don't have MFA on this user. Unused for more than a year. Oh, wow. Okay, so uh, that's fair. Fair enough. Ooh, that what? Oh, I hope we... Oh, cool. Okay, so I have permission boundary enough that they can't do anything on this. That's good. All right, so they can't do anything on anyone else. What about... That's good. They can't change anything on anyone else. Oh, there is an active key. Oh yeah, because that's what I had used for my actual Terraform cloud. Oh, okay. So read only, read only, read only, read only. SSM read only permission. That sounds about right. Uh, so I, I, some, I, I think I did some good thing. Uh, there is access key and I'm not part of any groups. Uh, yeah, that's the Terraform bootcamp that I'm running on my cloud security podcast channel at the moment. And oh, look at that. SSM, can't do anything but resources. Okay, fair enough. But it's all read-only, so, oh, except for the start permission. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I, I think I know what the person is going to do now. Can they launch? Oh, looks like they can launch. Oh, okay, could, could be noisy. So, smart. So, what else are they going to do? Oh, smart. They're looking for CloudTrail. I think I'm pretty sure I have CloudTrail turned on. I don't have CloudTrail turned on. No. I don't have CloudTrail turned on. Cannot believe it. Yep, I don't have CloudTrail turned on. Fail to get CloudTrail events. Okay, so definitely this user can't. So, okay. So I don't have CloudTrail turned on. That's bad as well. That's just pretty bad from a... Okay, uh, so far they cannot do anything apart from looking at IAM user. All right. Well, I, I see. Uh, North Virginia. Oh my God, there is a... Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad. Uh... Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. That they're going to try and, oh my God, they have access to this. This is not happening. This is not happening. Wow. Okay. So let's see what they do. It's an assume role called red team steal credential, but oh, this is the instance ID. Okay. That's the SGS credential of that. Okay. So they're going back into the EC2 or oh, they're looking for the role and they're looking at SSM managed instance score. Wow, that's an order of SSM. Oh, that's for the SSM. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is bad. EC2 and S3. Oh, my God. I can already see what they're going to do. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. They're going to do this. The person is now. <laughs> what will see? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I wonder what else they're going to do. 
Oh, okay. So that's a good thing I have Cloud Trail. So I imagine they're thinking already that there's a lot of Cloud Trail activity. Maybe I don't have the permission to look at the Cloud Trail. So they might go move on to something else, hopefully. Oh, it's just ransomware bucket. I hope this was just a sample and I didn't want to make my life hard by actually making myself a victim of ransomware. Oh no, this is my, this is bad. This is actually my accounting files. No, please don't do this. Something stupid. Please don't do something stupid. This is going to be, oh, okay. Oh, there is no bucket policy. Oh, wow. Now this person just showing off. I don't have any bucket policy. Oh, okay. So they're trying to make it public. Ha ha. So you don't have access to everything. Okay. All right. What are they going to do then? Oh, okay. I Smart. Because the person doesn't want to trigger if there are any notification. Uh, okay, then they can just download everything from my bucket onto this S3. Oh, onto this volume that is there. <laughs> That's at least this is where uh, system is good. That's awesome. Just don't let them do anything. Yes, go for us. Oh my God, they can. They can do that. And they, oh yeah, they can create direct. Oh, who knew that was that simple? I'm assuming now they're going to actually do the actual run rather than the minus a dry run. Uh, ta, 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 ta. Oh, this is permission nine. Okay, so it's a good thing, I think. Okay, I see them coming on to this. Fortunately, it is, there's no public, okay, there's no public IP, that's good. Only private IP. What are they gonna do? I'll be, I'll be surprised. So they have this in the volume. So, so far we know that they have basically copied it to the volume. Okay, so actions, networking, okay. Uh, might be too noisy. You clearly don't want to set up any alarms. So, oh, oh okay. All right. I, I see. Okay. The person might do. Oh, no. No, I, I know where this is going. I know where this is going. No, 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 no. Not encrypted. Perfect for the person. Oh, my God. The volume's there as well. Oh, it's public. That means... Any AWS account can search for this on the internet. Oh my God, this is not, this is not happening. I'm going to, I'm going to stop there because I think I clearly feel, uh, okay, this is turning out really embarrassing video. So I'm going to stop here. But what I'm going to call out over here is that they were kind enough to share this with me and help me correct this as well. So the recommendation over here, if, if you're working towards this, never store anything sensitive in your state file. Always have it as a variable and have a sensitive flag on it. If you're going to do an output which is going to have sensitive, definitely make that output sensitive uh, flagged as well. If you are going to save the variables in like just your access keys or any other sensitive information on Terraform Cloud as a variable, make sure you flag like that sensitive there as well so it's not displayed to everyone. And if you're using GitHub, don't do this mistake with what I did, which is make sure it is not tracked. I should have done that, but I did not. So now the state file is tracked and it wasn't good. So I should delete the entire repository, put that back in again. I just want to give a shout out to the person who helped me uh, resolve this. But I, I hope you got some lessons from this so you can avoid being in my similar situation by you making sure you have the sensitive flag turned on for the Terraform state file that you're working off. If you enjoy a video like this and you want to see me show you more AWS hacks or Terraform hacks or Kubernetes hack, definitely let me know in the comment. Or if you want to learn something else about cloud security, definitely leave that in the comment as well. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video because we talk about cloud security and try and learn from each other on this every day. So if you enjoy this video like this, definitely share that with your friends and family and I will see you in the next video. By the way, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, thanks. Peace.